Dear viewers, Welcome back to our channel. In today's digital age, NVIDIA, as one of the leading suppliers in the data center business, has always been at the forefront of the industry. However, the recently released fourth quarter fiscal year 2024 financial report revealed a concerning trend. The market share in China plummeted from the previous 20% to 25% to 4 to 6%, drawing widespread attention from the industry. While NVIDIA has achieved remarkable performance globally with substantial growth in data center revenue, does this rapid contraction in the Chinese market signify new challenges for NVIDIA? How will NVIDIA respond to this change in the context of the global data center market, potentially worth trillions of dollars? More importantly, how will supply chain challenges and geopolitical factors affect its future development? With intensifying competition, can NVIDIA's core business sustain its ultra-high valuation? When the fourth quarter fiscal year 2024 financial report was unveiled, NVIDIA's performance report caused a stir in the industry. However, one number stood out like a bombshell, shaking the entire market. The market share in China dropped sharply from 20% to 25% to only 4 to 6%. This unexpected change has sparked speculation and discussion. What caused this rapid contraction? Is NVIDIA facing unprecedented challenges? How will the world's leading data center supplier respond to this situation? These questions have sparked heated discussions in the industry and made this quarter's financial report even more noteworthy. In the fiscal year 2024 Q2 financial report, NVIDIA stated that the Chinese market accounted for 20% to 25% of its data center business. However, by the Q for financial report, the market share in China had dropped to only 4 to 6%. The financial report showed a revenue of $22.1 billion for the quarter, a year-on-year -year increase of 265%, with a net profit of $12.3 billion, up 769% year-on-year. Data center revenue reached $18.4 billion, a 409% year-on-year increase while gaming revenue also increased to $2.87 billion. However, NVIDIA's stock price fell in the three trading days before the financial report, resulting in a market value loss of nearly $200 billion. But the stock price rebounded after the financial report was released, with an after-hours increase of over 14%. The market's optimistic outlook for NVIDIA's future trajectory indicates investors' expectations for the stock price. Huang Renchuan pointed out that global companies are accelerating the construction of data centers, bringing enormous value to the global data center market, which could be worth trillions of dollars. With over 80% market share in the AI market, NVIDIA has become a major supplier to tech giants. Collect Crest said that the demand for the next generation B100 chip will far exceed expectations. Despite facing supply chain challenges and market competition, NVIDIA's stock price rose after the financial report was released, indicating strong market confidence. NVIDIA is actively expanding AI technology into broader areas, collaborating with Cisco to promote enterprise AI system sales. The market generally holds a positive view of NVIDIA's prospects, but some analysts warn of uncertainties in future markets as there may be variables in whether the data center business can support its ultra-high valuation. NVIDIA indicated in its Q for Fiscal Year 2024 Financial Report conference call that it expects to achieve the first batch of H200 shipments in the first quarter of Fiscal Year 2025, with expected shipments doubling those of H100. NVIDIA has long faced supply chain challenges, with the Versailles issue constantly plaguing it. From gaming graphics cards to AI computing, supply chain management has always been a challenge. Adopting a fabless and contract manufacturing strategy has increased supply chain flexibility. By working with multiple suppliers and focusing resources on design and quality assurance, it has avoided manufacturing business costs and risks. However, it has also made the company highly dependent on the supplier network. The supply chain is mainly concentrated in the Asia-Pacific region, but there are geopolitical risks, such as changes in export controls, which may have a negative impact on the business. NVIDIA supply chain management has always been a focus of industry attention. 
Although a series of flexible strategies have been adopted, geopolitical risks remain a challenge that requires continued attention. NVIDIA continues to shorten product development cycles, enter new areas, and increase the complexity of the supply chain, accompanied by increased risks. In situations of limited supply or capacity, delivery times for orders may be extended. The production of the Hopper GPU places high demands on the supply chain. To increase supply chain resilience and redundancy, NVIDIA is expanding supplier relationships, establishing redundancy and flexible operations, and increasing procurement from suppliers. However, changes in export controls and economic sanctions remain important risks. Recently, GPU order delivery times have been significantly shortened, but this may also accelerate the end of the growth cycle. Although capacity is rapidly increasing, NVIDIA still needs to address new challenges and maintain supply chain flexibility. NVIDIA's outstanding performance reflects the prosperity of the entire AI acceleration computing industry. After the release of the fourth quarter fiscal year 2024 financial report, NVIDIA's stock price soared and the stock prices of ARM and AMD also rose sharply. Currently, NVIDIA's market share in the global graphics card market is close to 90%, with almost no competitors, attracting attention to its monopoly status. In this financial report, NVIDIA confirmed rumors of a French regulatory investigation into its anti-monopoly practices. However, regulatory agencies in various countries have not fully reached a consensus on NVIDIA's monopoly issue, as the acceleration computing market is still full of competition. NVIDIA's strong performance does reflect its leadership position in the industry, but regulatory actions against its anti-monopoly practices also indicate that market competition issues are still of concern to regulators and investors. Balancing innovation and market fairness will be a key challenge for NVIDIA's future development. In the AI accelerator chip market, AMD has released the Instinct MI300 series chip, which has technical specifications superior to NVIDIA's H100. However, AMD's market share is low and it faces challenges in the H200 supply cycle. IDC data shows that NVIDIA accounts for 85% of the Chinese AI accelerator card market while AMD has not yet appeared. Microsoft, Meta, Google, and others have also launched new AI chips, and OpenAI plans to independently develop chips. Grok's LPU chip is considered a threat to NVIDIA. On one hand, there are long-time competitors, on the other hand, there are customers holding AI training demand, and many innovative technology companies are waiting on the sidelines making the AI-accelerated computing market a veritable wolf's den. However, it will take a long time for these companies' AI chips to be truly put into use, and cloud computing companies need to evaluate the cost-effectiveness of self-developed chips and purchasing NVIDIA chips. NVIDIA has CUDA acceleration computing technology, constrained by geopolitical factors. The Q2 fiscal year 2024 financial report showed that the Chinese market accounted for 20% to 25% of its data center business, but in the Q4 report, it dropped to 4 to 6%. Since the US government sales restriction policy, NVIDIA's business in China has shrunk by over 70%. NVIDIA has taken active measures, including providing alternative products and designing special chips for China, but they have been met with a lukewarm response. China is now not limiting models but limiting design parameters. Even consumer-grade RTX 4090 graphics cards cannot enter China, and China's special supply is almost useless for large-scale model training. A leading domestic server agent told Tiger Sniff that by the end of 2023, domestic server manufacturers had prepared for NVIDIA's China special supply GPU and started accepting orders. But by January 2024, many customers had begun to lose interest in these low-performance chips. NVIDIA's financial report for the season also mentioned that the proportion of the Chinese market in the global data center business in the next quarter will remain at a medium single-digit level, unchanged from this quarter. Under pressure from the US government, it may be difficult for NVIDIA's high-end GPUs to make money in China in the short term. 
An AI accelerator chip manufacturer told Tiger Sniff that the U.S. chip ban on China not only affects U.S. domestic companies, but also many other countries' companies closely related to the U.S. chip industry, including TSMC. This directly led to the inability of all foreign companies processing chips at TSMC to ship to mainland China. For NVIDIA, the ban on shipping to China, although regrettable, actually means only a slight decrease in revenue in the global market. Because although NVIDIA cannot enjoy the Chinese market, its competitors outside China cannot either. In the short term, it will not have much impact on its market position and competitiveness. However, NVIDIA's absence from the Chinese market has provided a good opportunity for Chinese GPU and AI accelerator chip manufacturers. This vacuum has prompted domestic Chinese companies to accelerate their research and innovation in the field of cloud-based AI acceleration chips, forming a batch of product lines with independent intellectual property rights and technological advantages. Significant examples include Alibaba's Hanguang series, Baidu's Kunlun series, etc. These cloud service giants have successively launched self-developed AI accelerator chips, aiming to enhance the performance and efficiency of cloud computing services while reducing reliance on external technologies. In addition to these industry giants, China's chip market has also nurtured a group of vibrant small and medium-sized innovative companies. These companies have gradually gained a foothold in the fiercely competitive market by focusing on specific niche markets or adopting unique technological solutions. For example, companies such as Cambrican Technologies MLU Series, Horizon Robotics Deep Brain Series, Horizon Robotics, Wall Run Technology, Moth Reed, Music's Integrated Circuits, Shindong Technology, and Jihui Microelectronics are all striving for innovation in the field of AI acceleration computing, trying to meet market demand. Companies like Cambrian and Lunxon are exploring new technologies and applications for cloud-based AI acceleration chips through independent research and development. Finally, I summarize today's content and hope it has brought you some inspiration and value. As a blogger, we have drawn many insights and reflections from NVIDIA's financial report. First of all, the changes in the market constantly remind us to remain vigilant and adapt flexibly, especially under the influence of geopolitical factors and supply chain challenges the company's development path may be seriously affected. Secondly, NVIDIA's example tells us that even if a company achieves brilliant performance globally, it will inevitably face many challenges, and the key lies in how to respond to and adapt to changes. Finally, we should continue to pay attention to and learn about emerging technologies and market trends, constantly improve our adaptability and competitiveness. Therefore, let's think together, how should companies adjust their strategies to deal with challenges in the constantly changing market? How can we maintain keen market insight in our daily work? Looking forward to sharing more exciting discussions with you. Today's video ends here. See you next time. Goodbye.